Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. My name's Heather C and I'm inviting you to come along and craft with me. So today I'm in my November composition notebook. All that I've done so far is decorate the inside of the cover and decorate the front of the cover. So today I plan on um, putting in some of my yummy coffee dyed paper. Now I did dye this paper today and I dyed it with the whole sheet intact. More about that later. So let's get started. Okay, the final step of getting my cover protected was to add a layer of shipping tape across the top of it. And that just gives it some good protection and also keeps this stuff from, you know, getting rubbed off or falling off, which is protection, I guess. <laughs> okay. It's just an added layer of security. There you go. <laughs> now, with the, um, the coffee dyed paper. So, I had been dyeing it this way and laying them in like this. And then having to pull them out and drying them in the oven. And what I found was that the paper is so thin, it ripped really easily. Let me see. I don't know. Let me find one that ripped. Yeah. Okay. Here is an example of one that I did. This one's a rough one, actually. <clears throat> but it just was so easy to, to rip. Which, you know, it adds character to it, and I'm fine with that. I just didn't want it all to be that way. I wanted the process to be faster. So, I tried one out. There's another one that had ripped. Um, and another one. Not many, though. Not many, because I started trying it out after I um, coffee dyed it. I would just take it like this to the oven and I would let them uh, dry in the oven for a little bit, long enough for me to be able to open it and not worry about it um, ripping. And then I would dry the inside. And then I got to where I was just, they were drying. I guess my uh, the heat got up enough to where I could just, um, get them right out of the um, the oven without even opening it, opening it up. Now, some of them that I let soak a little bit longer are um, very delicate here in the middle. And so I'm thinking that I may pick out a, a piece of uh, colorful duct tape to reinforce every, um, page that I choose to put in. Now, I'm not going to use this many. The reason that I, I've i got this many is because I had the stuff out and I was like, you know, while I'm doing it, I'm just going to go ahead and do every page that was in the composition notebook. So, this is every page and I'm just going to save the others that I don't use for future journals that I want to do coffee dyeing in. Um, coffee dyed paper. So what I want to do is I want to get 10 of these. That will leave me 40 writing pages. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now the rest I'll put with my coffee dyed um, box. I've got a box here with coffee dyed items in it. 
and uh, I'll store it for next time. <clears throat> Apologize again about my voice. I'm still not over the coughing of bronchitis, my bronchitis. Okay, so see, you can see that I've got all kinds of paper in here and things, coffee dyed um, envelopes and papers, yummy, yummy, coffee dyed papers. So I will be adding some of this stuff probably in my journal as well. Um, not sure what yet. But let's go ahead and say one, two, those, and then one, two of those. Okay. Not in the envelope. Then I also wanted to add uh, some watercolor paper. So, let's go ahead and do this first. I found out this month that I really like these pages, these little pages for like um, lists and um, things like that, just to do lists or um, other type of little quick dot down areas. <clears throat> okay. Sorry. I need to clean my desk up a little bit, it looks like. Okay. Let's see, and then I wanted some of these, definitely. Um, I think I'll do the lined. No, the unlined. One. And that one. Okay. These right here came from Vintage Polka Dots Shop on Etsy. Uh, VintagePolkadotShop.com. Her stuff is wonderful. Oh, it smells so delicious. Mmm. <clears throat> Wonderful stuff. Okay. Now I wanted some um, watercolor paper. Where did I put that? Okay, I've got this watercolor paper that I got at Dollar Tree. Um, it's really nice. And now that I feel of it, I don't think this will work. Let's see about this one. Okay, this one isn't as heavy weight. This one may be too thick, I don't know. I'm gonna take one out and then see how it feels.
I think it might be all right. I wanted to do more than one, but I think one is all I'm going to be able to do. So, I also wanted to bring in some scrapbook paper just to add some color. So, it needs to be move this to the side. Up. So I need to cut it. Obviously, this has seen better days. This was my mother-in-law's. I've got so many of these things right there. Probably five over there. One was my daughter's. Two were friends that's no longer scrapbook. And one was mine. And then that one was my mother-in-law's. with this paper wanting to fold not wanting to fold apologize for my fingers I've got coffee up and under them <laughs> coffee grounds oh my goodness I didn't even realize that I have washed my hands you know how it gets oh that's so funny here I am trying to make a video my fingers look filthy did I not cut this straight? I must have not cut it straight. <sighs> no, of course not. Good grief. Nothing is working at the moment. All right, let's try this again. as good as it's going to get. I'm done with it. <laughs> okay, so now I need to um, reinforce these. Okay. So I've got that. That's the one I think I use. I just use that one and go on. Okay, that's basically what I'm gonna do to all 10 of them. So I'll be back when I'm Okay, done. I've got my papers all in and everything ready. I don't know why I'm gonna show this online. 
Uh, I'm sure there's a lot of better videos, how-tos out there. So this is not a how-to. This is just how I get it done. <laughs> I've got a piece of uh, a plastic over here, styrofoam lock. It's not styrofoam. Why am I even hung up on that? Okay, I've got some padding underneath here and I'm going to punch right in the middle. I'm just eyeballing it with my all, I guess it's called. <laughs> oh gosh, I'm so professional. <laughs> All right, so see, it went through. All right, so now I'm going to pull that out and if I can, Oh gosh. Okay, so see, it's pulling the sticky off of the um, the duct tape. That probably wasn't the best way to reinforce the middles. And that's why I had such a hard time and it jerked the. Excuse me, I had to cough. It's never jerked the top off of it before. That's hilarious. So I'm going to go about right. Mm -hmm. Here and go through. All right, we got it through. Let's pull it back out. Shoo, goodness, this is going to be fun with my um needle and thread. And let's go up here about there. Bunch of hole. Okay. All right, there's that part. Now, this is wax thread that I got off of Amazon. You can get a pack that's got all different colors in it. It's like neutral colors, antique colors, I guess. I think it was, uh, I think it's on Gail Augustinelli's favorite things. Amazon, that's where I got it from. But I found it through Gail, I'm pretty sure. All right. And then I get the um, the needles that are quilting needles, maybe. I don't know. I'd have to look. Those are also on Gail's favorite things. Okay. So, let's see if I want... And I did three lengths, so I'll have plenty. I want my dangles to be up here at the top. So I'm gonna go in at the top, the top hole here. Let's see if I can push it through. Yep, there we go. And then I'm gonna pull until I'm still leaving some for my dangle. Then I'm going to go in the middle, pull out the back, okay? Then go down in the bottom. What I'm doing is I'm going to make like an eight, a figure eight. Come on, don't give me troubles. All right, there it goes. Okay, then I'm going to go back in the, the middle. That gives me my bottom of my eight. Make sure that you don't go in the, uh, the thread. Don't split your thread. All right, so see, you can tighten it up as well as you need to and pull. And then I can undo my needle here. Okay. No, no, no. No. Okay. 
Okay. I'm trying to get it taut. You want to get it as tight as you can. Guys, I'm sorry, the neighbor dog started barking. And when that when the neighbor dog starts barking, it's on. <laughs> it's like, who can bark the loudest? <sighs> Which in all fairness, my dogs start barking too sometimes on their own. And then it's on that way too. <laughs> All right, I'm not sure what kind of dangles I'm gonna put, but I'm gonna leave this just like that. I'm gonna cut a little bit off so they'll, you know, it won't be in the way. And I'm gonna save this just in case I use it for, well, actually, you know. Uh -oh. I'll I'll be sorry about that. I am dog sitting my daughter's dog which is a fairly large dog. It's uh, it's part Great Pyrenees, if that gives you any indication of how big she is. <laughs> and so it scares me if my, my little dogs get her riled up and I have to go check on them. All right, let me clean up a little bit and then we'll take this off and see how it did. All right, here it is. This right here, I'm not too worried about how it's coming apart here because I can reinforce that with more duct tape or a washi. But let me, there's how it looks. Um, let's go through it real quick. Oh, this is, it smells wonderful. It feels wonderful. So much crinkly goodness is what I like to call it. There you go. Now, I could have went through there and made sure that everything was kind of in the middle, but I'm, I'm okay with it spread out. Like what I'm saying is like how this is down here. That's fine. If it would have been up here, it was fine. If it was in the middle, it's fine. I don't care about that. Um, that's just how it fell when I did the papers like this to get them. I'm more concerned about making sure that there's a least amount of possible sticking out here. So I, that meant I had to get them good and tight in here um, in the, the valley or they would have been really stuck out and jaggedy. That right there is fine with me. Um, yeah, and it will, it'll get um, probably more gator mouth as I go on. But thank you for joining me and uh, be sure to check out my other videos. Leave a comment. I'll be sure to comment back and um, uh, if you have a channel, I'll try to check out your channel as well. You guys have a great and blessed crafty day. Bye-bye.